Hi. Um, I've been writing a couple of friends who are in prison for a while since I've been saved, um, probably for over half a year. Um, sent them quite a few letters, you know, some many pages with lots of verses and stuff. I've been trying to get them converted, and uh, unfortunately I don't think that either one of them are converted yet, And even though they say that they are. Um, you know, I've, I've been writing them as I've been growing, so, you know, when I first got saved I started going to the Assembly of God, uh, Babel building, uh, so I was telling them, you know, when you get out, go to church and stuff, and so then, then later on, you know, when I left and everything, I started finding everything else out, you know, as I'm changing, I'm like, oh, I take that back, you know, don't go to a church building, you know, get a King James Bible, I sent them King James Bibles, uh, I sent this one a concordance, I'm gonna read a letter that I got today from this guy, um, from one of them. Um, the last letter that I wrote, I'm just really, I'm just concerned because I just don't think that he's converted yet, you know, and I'm like, I think that maybe how I presented the gospel at the beginning and stuff is kind of wrong, maybe I didn't say repentance enough, you know, maybe I didn't stress that factor that you, you need to repent, and, you know, um, I was kind of hard in this last letter, you know, um, I told him, you know, it needs to be a real conversion, and I was tell I'm telling him, you know, that this guy's married, I don't think that his wife's saved, and I'm like, if you're really saved, you know, it's probably going to cause some problems, but it'll be alright, you know, um, and I'm like, uh, talking to him about music, you know, like rock music and stuff, is wicked, you shouldn't listen to that, or Christian rock or anything, and telling him, you know, stay away from church buildings and all this, and, you know, I, was, I tried to be like as straightforward as I could, and, and I was trying to be like really hard, uh, so I've been anticipating this letter to see how he's going to take this, and I've, I'm thinking, you know, maybe he's going to be kind of upset at me. Uh, I just don't know how he's going to respond to it. You know, I just hope that he's going to hearken to it and get re and repent and get saved. But uh, this letter is, like, worse than I could imagine, really. <laughs> so I just want to read this letter, see what you think about this says, Brandon, hey bro, how are you doing? I'm kind of good, I mean, actually I'm really good. My faith has never been stronger. I have pretty good fellowship now, which helps enormously. But I got into a little bit of trouble. I got caught tattooing. But by the grace of God, I pretty much got off with a slap on the hand. Usually they'll put you in seg and transfer you to a higher security prison. I only got three months C grade, which means I can't use the phone, I can't get into school, I can only spend $30 once a month in commission, and I got 30 days gym slash yard denial, but God definitely blessed me. Well, you know, I think that tattoos are a sin. Uh, this guy that I'm writing to, he has many tattoos. Um, he obviously doesn't realize that tattoos are a sin. Um, so we'll continue. He says, my wife is saved, dot, 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 I think. We talk about it a lot. It's just hard for me to tell because I'm gone. She's not going to church, but she looks forward to it when I come home. It's just scary for her because really this is a new life for both of us. If you're not going to church, when do you get your Christian, where do you get your Christian fellowship? I know some churches may be a little misguided. Some ministries may be doing it for the wrong reasons, but I don't think they're snares of the devil, because that's what I told him, they're snares of the devil, that's what I believe, so, uh, God knows where our hearts are, and he knows mine's in the right place, well, if you don't see a problem with tattooing, then I don't know, I praise him constantly, and he loves it, I praise him through everything I do. Especially music. He gave me a great talent for writing music, music to praise him. If I didn't make noise, if I didn't make music, I think that would be like a slap in his face, you know? He gave me the talent. Not using it would be like telling him he was wrong and by blessing me. And we all know he doesn't make mistakes. I don't know if you get Juice TV, uh, but it's pretty gnarly. I watch it most of the day. Have you heard of Manifest or Life and Death? Life and Death is Head's new band. It's awesome. 
I know you think rock with Christian lyrics is fleshy, but regardless of the sound, if you're praising God through music, it's amazing. I mean, as strange as it sounds, I guess you could praise God through an Eminem song. Edited, of course, lol. No, that's wrong. There's no praising God through an Eminem song, okay? God is, God is great, man, and I know he wants to be praised. No matter what, no matter what form we use, be it music, Christian books, TV, his word, Christian fellowship, anything, if praising him, you're doing what he wants and what he put on you, you on earth for. So please listen to Paralyzed by Light, Love, and Death. Uh, and it, We're rockers, man. That's the way God made us. And I'd love to go to a love and death show with you next summer. No, it's not going to happen. Think about it, bro. I'm going to get this in the mail right back ASAP. God bless your bro, Mike. And then there's a little note here on the side. This is the worst thing. Yeah. Have you read The Purpose Driven Life by Rick Warren? It's an amazing book. <laughs> so, like I said, I've been writing this guy for over half a year, and I've sent him a concordance, the King James Bible, and uh, it's like, I don't know, it's like, you know, should I even write him again? That's what I'm questioning, so I'd like some encouragement here, or some advice, uh, you know, should I write, you know, two, three pages, a bunch of pages with scripture, and, and show him why all this stuff is wrong? say, you know, tattooing is a sin, yes, it does matter how we worship God, uh, you know, yes, rock music is satanic, you know, music is a language, uh, should I go into detail about Rick Warren, about church buildings, you know, I, try, I mean, I hit these subjects basically, not Rick Warren, but, you know, just music and church and stuff, I hit that basically in the last letter, but, you know, is it worth it for me to go through and write all the scripture and everything. I mean, I just feel like he's just not listening to me now. He's he's having his own uh, Christianity that he wants, and he's not really hearkening to the Word of God. He's not hearkening to my instruction. It's like, I don't know. Part of me is just like, just don't write him back. Maybe he'll just get the point that <laughs> something's wrong. I don't know. Uh, I just don't know. You know, he said write back soon. And I just feel if I take the time to write all these scriptures out and say everything, it's just going to be the same thing where he's just going to say, I don't agree, or whatever. So, I don't know. Some advice. Thanks for watching. God bless.